This video is sponsored by Aura. More on them at the end of the video. This is going to be a fun one for sure. Yeah. Well, sitting on the lift, so we're waiting on the guy to come over here and lower, turn on power for the lift. But this whole front bow section is sunk sitting on bottom. I'm going to have to get in there. Yep. Yeah. I'll come along to there to the back of my boat, drop the stern in, raise the bow, pump it out. It sounds a lot easier than it's going to be. This is going to be a fun one. Would have been nice if there's a cleat, like right here. There's a midship one, but it's under the windshield, so I can't go to that on the port side here. Your dead bolt flop. There you go. And the lower one? I think it's stuck. The lower one's locked still. What's locked? Anything? The, the door handle. The bottom one? No, it's still locked. There we go. Oh, there you are. It's stuck in there. What a pain in the ass. Everything in this house is a pain in the ass, you know? I'm sure. <laughs> How are you, Phil? Ken, nice yeah, to meet you. Good to meet you. What a mess. Oh, oh. You know what? He's got so many keys. Though. He says it's on the key. I don't know which key. <laughs> okay. I just bring them out, I guess. Huh? Yeah, if you just got yeah. a bunch of them, we'll just try them all up. Oh, you do this all the time, Ken? Hey, Ken, what, how, what happens here? The insurance company turns it over to you guys? Is that what? Uh, so... Uh, they we'll, contact you. Yes, yeah, so we'll put the boat oh, back on the nice lift. Oh, you have a tow boat? Yeah. I, and, oh, you put it back on the lift? Yeah, we'll put it back oh, on the, the lift. Then the insurance will come and take a look. and. Because I'm going to tell you something, you know, but I think he wants it savage, you know. He wants it uh, probably totally. I mean, they'll probably total it with how long it's been sitting underwater like that. You, you think so? Buddy? I think so. The only oh, saving shit. grace. Oh, is... shit, it went all the way under now. What yeah. the hell happened there? I'm guessing just as the tide come in, things have shifted a little oh, bit. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, man, so I didn't see that before. The only thing worth on saving on that boat is oh, the now, engine. Now you got the, uh, the electric and everything in there. That probably totally that shit out as right. Yeah. Before it was just a hole, you know? Yep. But now that so much is wet. Now look at this. Ain't this a pain in the ass? What, <laughs> what am I going to do, you know? It's nice that you're I'm here and able to help him out. You know? He says it's, I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of them. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter how you hold them. Yeah. I guess he's just been collecting them. I just, we'll just take them all so we don't have to come back, you know? I guess probably not his car keys. Yeah, probably not, but uh, well, you know, I'll take every single one. Uh, we gotta go out to a great box out there, and that's locked. But once you open that, I guess you turn the power on. Oh, okay. I, I think the lift is cracked too, though, you know, Ken? Yeah, it's definitely damaged, but it looks like it's it still be. in usable condition. Yeah. Is it the box down there, or do we have a uh, he breaker the on? down on the lift, though. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that box over there. Let's see. Box. This what should just be box? the controls. Oh, it's open? Yeah, so we got to find the breaker for this. That's probably on the house somewhere. Oh, I got to turn the breaker on. Okay. Oh, but this is on already, huh? Yeah, so we just don't have any power out here. We didn't need any of these keys, huh? I guess not. Yeah. I thought maybe his breaker box was locked. Yeah. I know where the other box is, the breaker box. Yeah, okay. I got to put these back on. That's my brother-in-law, you know. My wife passed away a couple of years ago, you know, his sister. Yeah, I'm sorry to and, hear and that. He really, thanks. And he had uh, cancer, so we got all the shit going on, you know, chemo and all that stuff. Yeah, so that's I what Robin said. Yeah. 
And she said he's, yeah, getting treated right now. Getting treated. Did he tell you? Robin told me. Oh, good. So was he a firefighter on 9-11? Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. I'll just slide him on anyway. I don't give a shit, right? He's lucky we're here, that's all. Yeah. You must be busy now, huh? We've been basically working non-stop since yeah, the storm. I can imagine, but not a bad job, right? You don't mind it. No. Here, here's where the breaker box is. Hopefully it's got this labeled dock. Yeah, but uh, I'll turn some shit on here, see if we can get something on. I don't know which one it is. It, it, it'll, it'll be labeled, but we gotta get some lights to see. Dock 22. Uh, can you read that? Uh, so those should be the ones you got there. Okay, that should be on. Yep. Valerie McGarry. Oh, Valerie. My sister will. Hey, Val. Hey, Val. I'm going to have to call you back. You know why? I'm with, uh, up at Tom's boat. It was uh, under the water, you know? I know. I just played your, I just played your, uh, your, 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 your message. Oh, this is. Can I call you back or are you busy? Okay. Okay. Still got nothing. She just lost her husband, Tom's brother, too. He lost oh, no. a lot of debts. Still have no power. Are you, are, maybe it's the wrong one? Yeah, that is. Can you hear anything over there? Yeah, I hear something clicking. I yeah, think it's just this creaking. No, over there. Oh, maybe it's the water, huh? Yeah, because you should hear it clicking here. But. Yeah, it's just the boards creaking here. Okay. All right, I better go back in. Yeah, yeah so... Do you know if there's a breaker outside, maybe, for this? He said the breaker was inside on the panel. I wonder if there's another one out here. But, uh, I'll go back in and turn a few on, make sure that we're lined up right. Yeah, okay. I should turn a light on in there. That's, that must be for the air Yeah, it's for the AC. That's it. Over on the other side. Well, take a look if you want. Can open up the door here and get some light. Let me get my light now. Siri, uh, put on a flashlight. That's these ones we don't need. Now let's see if we see this dock. Uh, 22. The, the last one, right? And this is... It's on. That should be on, right? Yeah. That's what he said. It would be marked on the, on the Oh, here we go. 1516 dock. Oh, there's another one. Oh, <laughs> shit. That would do it. Hey, Guess they relabeled them at some point. There we go. Okay. Lucky, lucky you're sharp <laughs> I wouldn't have looked for another dock. Yeah, uh, this is
You're used to this, Zach. That yep. <laughs> like I said, it's like 18 or something we've done yeah, the last well, week. So you get to put them in your yard and take your pick? We don't want any of these. <laughs> Right there, like. That's the thing, the engine's the only thing worth saving on this boat, so it'll be interesting to see what well, the insurance company does. I know on the car you do one anyway, right? What was that? The electrical's messed up. Yeah. But I don't know how much electrical. Well, in the beginning, it was looking yeah, it was like pretty good, yeah. yeah. Just the small that's what part I was of the. That's what I, yeah. Still would have been, in my opinion, salvage. 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 Oh, okay. Well, I've I got pictures for the insurance company. What? I said I've got pictures for the insurance oh, company. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize that. That is creepy. Well, you're on a job, all right. You're on the ball, too. So you're used to the shit. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you do is take your pictures, right? Huh? Uh, the insurance company gets cranky if we don't. They need pictures before and after just to prove it. An insurance company that maybe ain't running. Uh, they had issues. Yeah, what was it? Insurance companies take off. Yeah, Wednesday I think they had their uh, servers go down for a little while, so that was fun. Yeah. We're trying to get all these claims put in so we can start working. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how many claims were coming in. Yeah, basically. How many, how many uh, horsepower you got in the back of that? Uh, twin two hundreds. Tall, I guess, yeah. You ain't doing any drug running, are you? Nah, this boat's... Like you're, you're at <laughs> something, this huh? boat is not a fast boat at, at 4,000 RPMs. You can't get speed up? At, at 4,000 RPMs, we're running about 23 knots. Oh, that's not bad. No. Nah. That's, that's slow, I mean. That, yeah. That's yeah it's, it's set up to have power, not oh, speed. No, twin 200s, so 400. 200s, yeah, but that's a lot of power, too. I said, three 400, never heard of it. <laughs> well, you see big ones, 350, 400 even, you know? Well, we've got a slightly bigger boat that's got twin 300s on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's a lot of power, too, 400. Yeah. This thing, it does the job. Yeah. And it's a foot taller. But, uh, you know, I, I never liked going fast at that speed where you sort of uh, coast it along, you know? Mm -hmm. Your eyes are getting all watery, everything's falling apart. That's why we got a windshield here. We can roll it down and block the wind. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. I couldn't even break my beer. You know, we had a little boat up in the Hudson River. Really. Oh, okay. So we used to keep it about 20 miles an hour or something, you know? Yeah. in speed. And that's where you get your best, best gas. Oh, yeah. Saying the... Uh, bigger boat we've got at wide open throttle at like 5,600 RPMs. Yeah. We're doing about 45, but it's burning 50 gallons an hour. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And it's burning your eyes up, your eyes, and everything's going up. Yeah. Needless to say, the boss doesn't like us running like that. <laughs> He's the one paying for all the fuel. Yeah, 
long have you been working there, Ken? Uh, up in Sarasota for two years. I was working for the uh, Tobo company down in Venice and Englewood two years before that. Yep. That's the thing. When we get these storms, that's where we make our money. Do you work in between or is it a lay off? So we do normal towing, kind of like AAA. Yeah. So that's what we do most of the year. And then we get these storms and really go to work. Yeah. Too small. Figure out where I want to attach that. Yeah, I'd say it's probably like four feet, maybe. Yeah. It's kind of nice when it's not too deep, but then it also means when I get in the water, my feet are touching the bottom in the nasty mud, so. <laughs> yeah. I haven't worried about it yet. Yeah, I don't know. Oh man. Yeah, start dropping the lift a little bit, see what this is gonna do. Should I go to the front and take a look? I'm just going to go slow. Probably have to cut this line at some point. You got to let that line loose maybe, huh? Well, I don't want to let it too loose because I don't want the boat to roll over. I want it to come back this way. That's what I wanted to do, is start rolling back this direction. So I need that bow to come up so I can get a line on there and start pulling. You don't want it to go under your boat. That's okay, my boat will move.
sitting on the dock. The bilge pump works. The bilge pump's working. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what it looks like to me? I'm not telling you what to do. If you can crank that up a little bit from the front. Well, that's the thing. I needed to roll so I could grab there. So yeah, yeah, that's why I had I that come this along. This is really tight on it, you know? It is, yeah. Yeah. And, and that would give you your, I think, your uh, leverage to get that down. Yeah. You know? What do you think? That's the thing. I needed to roll a little bit so I can get up there and. I think we got it. This seems yeah. It'll, it'll stable. Get in there. Yeah. That's why I set up the come along. Pretty much. Do you have anything to strap on? There's no room to crank, huh? Not yet. I still got to get it attached to something on the boat, too. Nah, I'm good. I'll just push it off here. Let me sit on it. I need to grab on something here to pull up with. Oh, that looks nasty. <laughs> you know, water shoes. It's so slimy. <laughs> Probably just go off that bell cleat up. No, I'm good. I, yeah, I got the two tied up there.
sandals there. Those are mine. Yeah. Okay, thanks. I can't believe that boat pump's still working. A lot of water in there. Yeah, but you're yeah. right. It didn't out, right? Well, it probably helped that everything was sitting forward. No, because all the water is going forward. Yeah. But it's going to mean the batteries are probably okay, so I might actually be able to get this engine up. This guy can make it to the top of the ship, too, you know? Yeah. It's obvious that. But they told you. Too much pressure on it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Because you always a lot of pressure, you know? Yeah, come a little bit more. Still nothing. That be good, right? I was hoping to lift it up so it could come off the oh, lift. Don't lift. But. I turn a little bit more to the left if you're going to lift it. But I wanted to get it off from the metal because the wood will give way to it when it's caught on the beam. Yeah, yeah. That's no. where it will get damaged. No, now it's not. Now I can come down more. Yeah. <laughs> Make my job easier. But I still do. I've got a bigger pump, and I was saying, if this keeps pumping, we'll let it keep pumping. That might be a tall order to ask for that pump. <laughs> that might be what? A tall order to ask for that little pump. That's what it's supposed to do. Get all the water out there. Yeah, but the boat's not supposed to start yeah, with this much water. <laughs> Yeah, whenever this, I assume this has automatic shut off on it. Oh, it may not. A lot of these do to keep you from running it down and overwrapping the cables like this one's doing now. Yeah. Still gotta come down more. It's loose. I think that lift motor might be shot. What, the motor? The lift motor for the trim. Oh, yeah. But it's not coming up. Yeah, it'll float now, so I just gotta pump the water out. We got a big gas pump. So we'll get that going and get this done. 
want to see you move, move around the next boat. They like to see that pump as big as you can. Yeah. I think this one pumps like 158 gallons a minute. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. It'll move some water. I got it. Thanks. Sam, so we got one of our other captains, like 65. Oh, yeah. Is he heavy set? No, not really, but yeah, yeah. it's definitely a little bit harder for him to move about. But you're looking good. Start fuel on. Rabbit mode, switch on.
something faster than the water can drain from the rest of the boat. What was that? No. <laughs> Oh, there's a bunch of water up in that front one. I don't know, it almost seems like that one's not draining to this one. I think the, I think the bilge pump that's running is in this hole here. So let that one keep running, I'll pump out this front one. What was that? Yeah, not quite as good, but... <laughs> oh, no, but still, it'll do the job. I don't think there's quite as much in that. No, nah, not as much. They could have used a thousand of them on the Titanic. Like this. I'm not sure that would have been enough. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have been. The water just keeps coming over there. And you're in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. That's the thing. Something like this, you, we, even us, we still have to yeah, get... At least you got a chance. You're on dry land. But then you're yeah. on dry land. Nope. That was a shame, Just like they call the banks too big to fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Until it happens. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Well, that's what they, I remember that when we, uh, what was in that bank robber? When we, uh, and when we, uh, Don't remember. Sutton or something like that. And they said to him, uh, you know, 
why do why do you love the banks? She said because they're there. <laughs> yeah. Now looking up here. It's coming up a lot now. Still want to try to get this engine up. Okay. Moving? Yeah, it's moving now. Yourself, Might have been. Yeah. I mean, it's still not working great, but. Yeah, it's going. It's going, huh? Wonder what it was caught on. Yeah, I just want to make sure I can clear the lift so I can yeah, put it I'm back here. Yeah. Yes, I got through. Yeah, definitely something wrong with that lift motor, though. It's too slow. And as much as it's got. Yeah, it's too slow, I think, right? It usually will come up a little faster than that, right? It should. But it'll... Well, I was thinking maybe it'll fucking higher on it, but there ain't. No. I think it should. I don't know what's going on. Could be. The camera shouldn't have to be. Fish catch no longer happy. Good thing we're pretty much done. We don't need this guy anymore. Yeah, okay. Try the float switch turned off. There's still water in there. No, not a whole lot. It almost had it. Well, from the wind, right? But when the surge comes in. Yeah, the surge don't hit, yeah. But what happened was, he 
just got ready to tie up. Yeah. So when the boat lifted, it was free. Yeah. What the hell is that, you know? That's what happens a lot with these. Is but why wouldn't the guy tie up? I don't get that. That'd be the first thing they teach you. Well, a lot of them, yeah. they raise the lift up, they tie it on, but it floats so much that the boat still shifts yeah, enough. No yeah, well, no ties. You're just an idiot. <laughs> but a lot of these, they'll put on yeah, enough. The guy told me that uh, he talked to the mother. She's up in uh, Jaro, Israel, that bad place. Ooh. And, and he had a call and tell her about a boat. Yeah. And she said, I told my son to raise the lift, he didn't get the guy. He said he didn't do it. Damn. You know? She said, I told him to do it. The poor woman, she's going through so much. I can imagine, yeah. She's up in Asheville. I guess he's there, but too much of a surge. Yeah. That's the thing, a lot of people, they raised them, but even then, it, they just couldn't raise it enough. Yeah. And they had a line on the boat, which for some of them made it worse, because they came up, and the boat kind of, you had the lift sitting flat like this, and the boat had one line on, so it ended up like this after the surge went out. Yeah. Where if it had just floated, it would have at least kept floating. Yeah. It wouldn't have been where it's supposed to be, but... Yeah. Where the hell did I put this in? I know there's been a few I've seen floating around. No, nothing too good. Who's calling me? Twenty six. Call from Mike Montobo. What's up, Mike? Oh, are you a live cat? Yep, just about finished with this uh Grady White. Okay, thank God. I was getting worried about you. Um, Ken, Robin said she couldn't get a hold of you. Uh, quick question. Do you want to send Tom down to go above the cannon, or do you want to do it? Let him do it. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Thanks, Ken. Yep. Bye. Right. Radio's playing. Huh? Can you hear the radio? Yeah, yeah a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's from the boat. Oh, well, <laughs> it's all left, huh? Yeah. You know, his hearing's no good. He probably left it off, but that'd be an awful long time to go. Oh, good thing the batteries were off, so it wouldn't be playing. Oh, I see what you mean. Doesn't get juice if that battery if that uh, Yeah, if the battery's off, nothing else gets power. Some things do, it used to. It would drain everything, you know. Yeah. Is it still running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, I'll just move. I don't know if we want to raise it with this one being broken. Yeah. So we'll just kind of tie it as best we can. And yeah. So we'll tie it to the. If we've got long enough lines, we'll tie it to the top. No, I'm good. Yeah, let me just make sure the lift's low enough to get the boat on. And, I would turn it off once I get the boat on. So let me just quickly clean up here.
Sponsor time. Nowadays, it's pretty easy to do a quick Google search for a name and find out quite a lot of info about someone. It's scary how much of my personal information is accessible, especially since I would consider myself pretty limited in the personal data I put out there. However, data brokers collect and then sell your information to scammers, spammers, advertisers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, cell phone, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there and easy to find. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because the company couldn't keep my data secure. To help you secure your data, Aura is offering my viewers a 14-day free trial at my special link down in the description at aura.com slash FGCMS. Now back to the video and what I do best.